Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 47 of the Decades Challenge. So in this part, we are going to be starting with Samuel's birthday. He's actually going to be a teenager, so he's already blowing out his candles. I got Emilka to make him a cake, and I'm going to randomize his trait now. So he actually got family-oriented, so that's good. That's a good one. Um, I mean, he's not our main Sim. He's not the heir, but that's okay. And of course, I can't even find it. Seriously? Maybe a teen can't have that trait. Uh, looks like a teen can't have that trait because I'm not seeing it here. I'm going to check one more time. Uh, sometimes I miss them, but I just, I don't think he can have that one. Okay, uh, we will try that again. Um, clumsy. Well, that's not a fair trade, but okay. Uh, so he's going to be clumsy instead. Uh, there we go. So Samuel is clumsy and athletic. I'll just give him the athletic aspiration because I think that makes sense. Oh, he looks like Owen Wilson. Am I wrong? I just watched Me, You, and Dupree. <laughs> Are you a mean Dupree? Me, You, and Dupree. Yeah, Me, You, and Dupree a couple days ago. And now, for some reason, I'm seeing Owen Wilson right here. Uh, so... They are celebrating majorly. Uh, I'm just going to give him a quick makeover so we can give him some more appropriate clothes and uh, then we will come right back. Okay, so I realized it was actually Ida's birthday as well. So I aged her into a toddler and Samuel is now a teenager. So this is Samuel. I did um, cut off his Owen Wilson hair, but this is Samuel um, heading into the 20s. And then I don't, I'm not going to show the rest of his outfits because they're not that exciting. Um, but this is Ida, who is so cute by the way I think she's adorable she looks a lot like her mom I love like this pigtail which I think I just downloaded I don't remember seeing it in my game that much but that's Ida and her dress so they are both um dressed for the 20s and um well I guess like heading into the 20s basically but uh we all know um Rose definitely has some outfits for the 20s uh the roaring 20s I guess you could say also, um, I've been getting a lot of questions about the CC that I use um, in my Decades Challenge, so I have been thinking about maybe doing a video where I kind of show off all my CC finds and um, kind of all the stuff that I found for the Decades Challenge, things I've already used, things that I plan on using. Um, but yeah, if you kind of want to see a video about all my CC that I use for the Decades Challenge, then uh, let me know because I can definitely do that. Um, so let's just throw this cake away because we honestly don't really need it. So it's Saturday morning. Um, I think I had Rose practicing her singing, um, but now she's not. Let's see. Let's check on these chickens, actually. Let's go. Um, can we do anything with them? I don't think they were ready to use the eggs. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, we can still go outside. Let's grab this laundry. Um, set it. Oh, no, don't set it down. Don't set it down. Put it away. Uh, let's go sell all of those. And I think, oh, that's cute. He's playing. That's nice. Okay, so you can clean this. Uh, there's no spoiled food. We can empty the trash, though. Um, their house is pretty boring right now. Like, there's not much to do. Let's actually uh, hang that on clothesline. Go clean this up, because somebody made a mess there, and I'm pretty sure it was Alice. She's kind of a terror. And then we will replace this water. Good. Um, so I don't really know exactly what to do in this part. A lot of the time I kind of have it planned out what I'm going to do and what we're going to uh, see for each episode but for this one I don't really have anything um, planned so we're just kind of going to see how it goes. Um, I thought maybe Rose could um, like visit her friends. She did make some friends in San Marino so there's Emilia which is really close to her mom's name Emilka. Uh, there's McKenna, um, there's Florence, there's Daisy and I think that was pretty much it for all the sims that I put in for the 20s era. Um, she hasn't met any of the guys yet, but that's kind of my plan is I would like her to meet them. Um, as for Milka, I thought maybe we could head to the store because we haven't done that in a while. Oh, that's cute, he just blew her a kiss. Okay, let's travel to <laughs> get that over with. Let's travel to the store and maybe spend a little bit of time there trying to sell some dresses. Um, so what Rose is actually six days away from becoming an, a young adult so I guess I'm not really sure what I want to do with her um, because so far what I've been doing is passing the store down from generation to generation and I still kind of want to do that but I'm thinking Emilka won't pass it down until she's like too old to run the store because I already have a plan for Rose and it doesn't really involve the store um, let's restock that maybe it will later but for now I like the idea 
of her kind of pursuing her singing career and then um, and then maybe settling down and running the dress shop. But I think for now, we're, we're going to leave it in Emilka's possession. She can keep running it um, since she enjoys it so much. And then let's actually, let's bring Rose here. Um, I think that Emilka would kind of be um, getting Rose to help her a little bit so she can be more familiar with it so she does know how to run it when it's time for her to, to do that. Um, let's open the store. I mean, it's not totally realistic. I realize that for a woman in the late 1910s, I guess, to be working when she has a family at home, but I don't know. Maybe this family is just uh, a little different. Oh, that's her friend right there. That's Florence. Okay, let's go talk to her. Ask about her day. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So this is one of the other um, flapper girls that she met at the uh, the lounge that she kind of sneaks off to to sing at. Let's get to know her. Her mom's probably wondering how she knows this person. Um, discuss interests. I'm trying to get them to be a little bit closer, make funny faces. Uh, meanwhile, she's going to actually... Oh, I think that's another one. That's Daisy. Yep. That's good that we do have some Sims coming into the store that aren't um, just random townies. Oh my god, this place is so congested right now. Greet customer. Greet customer. Rose is just talking to her friend. She's not really worried about the store at all. Um, let's do a... Uh, let's do hug, I think. And then we'll do a deep conversation. I kind of want those two to be pretty close friends. Let's see where their relationship's at. It's getting there. Uh, we can work on Daisy a little bit more. Oh, I always click that. I don't mean to. She's an art lover. And that's uh, rave about favorite singers. I think they would definitely talk about that. Meanwhile, nobody's buying anything. Let's uh, talk to this lady. Let's. Oh, we can't. She's not. Why isn't she a customer? Greet that customer. And then greet this lady. Oh, okay, now it's a three of them. I get it. Okay, good. See, I, I want these two to be friends. Like, I like the idea of them kind of all hanging out all the time. So I'm trying to get them to be closer. Um, let's get to know and then we'll talk talk about vampires. I'll probably work on their relationships a little bit off camera as well because I do want them all to be really close. Um, Rose is knowing that she's romantic. She is no help right now at the store. Like, Emilka's actually talking to people about buying stuff, and Rose is is really not at all. Let's talk to this guy too. There we go. Okay. Um, and then Rose, you can actually talk to Daisy some more, maybe. Uh, rave about favorite singers. That should do. It's already one o'clock, and they haven't sold anything. Uh, we could do the web campaign actually. Purchase advertising. Long-term web campaign. Let's do that. We definitely need... I mean, I think that all that does is increase foot traffic, but that should help. Also, speaking of feet, what are you wearing? Oh my god. Well, you came to the right place, that's for sure. I mean, actually, we don't have any shoes, really, but... Uh, I, yeah, we do. We have them in the full outfits, but she seriously needs some new shoes. You just... You, you can't wear those. The, I think they're the witch shoes. <laughs> those are really bad. Oh god. Okay, uh, let's go talk to this guy because he looks like he actually might buy something. Uh, meanwhile, Rose is just not doing really anything that helpful. Um, maybe talk to this guy. Okay, we can't. It's weird. How come some customers we can talk to about the store and then some we can't? I find that really odd. Uh, oh, it looks like Daisy's gonna buy something. Okay, that's good. Let's go ring her up. There we go. Okay, well, it pays to have friends in here, that's for sure. Uh, and now someone else is buying some. This lady here? Yuritsa? Oh, Bita. She must be the, the Bita kid. Um, are you not gonna... Oh, there we go. Okay, go ring her up. It's New Year's Eve, so everybody is in, like, a celebratory mood. Let's restock that. This guy, he's so close. Um, let's go convince him to buy something. Wait, why didn't she ring her up? Please go do that. She's gonna leave. 
And this lady is pretty close to buying something too. Okay, talk to her. Answer questions. Discuss preferences. I, I hate that we have to like convince people to buy stuff. I wish they would just do it. That would be ideal. Uh, and of course my computer is going to slow down now. There we go. Um, she just bought Lucky Man. I didn't even read what that was. What What is this even called? I don't even know. Uh, oh, this guy's buying something now. Let's go ring him up. There we go. We're getting some sales. And we haven't been to the store in a while either, so I was kind of hoping we would have a good day doing this, but that's all right. Um, and then we can go restock that. Henry, Henrik is calling. No, thank you. She hasn't really talked to him in a long time, actually. Ever since Emilka moved out of her dad's house, really. This lady is so close to buying something, we have to convince her. Oh, she's going to buy something. Okay, go. Ring her up. Uh, and then anybody else? I don't think so. No. Alright, we're doing okay. Uh, we should restock this, though. We just got a naked guy here. And then I think we're going to close the store down. It's 4 o'clock. Um, we did get some sales done today, which is kind of what I wanted to do. Let's just go restock that. And of course, I bet as soon as I start to restock things and try to close the store, everyone's going to want to buy stuff. Also, Dirk Dreamer is here. He's old, but he's still famous. That is so annoying. I don't know why. I, just, I hate the celebrity so much. Okay, so let's close the store. We only made $174 in profit, which is not that good, but that's okay. We're going to send them both home now. Um, I was hoping to have Rose actually go to the club tonight, or I don't even know, what should I call it? I think it's called Prohibition Bar. Um, but anyway, I thought she could go there again tonight. Um, she's been doing that pretty much every single night, but I do want her to work on her singing skill a bit and get to know all the townies that I put in San Marchino because my plan is for Rose to actually live in San Marchino at some point. Um, I love the idea of exploring the Roaring Twenties and trying to kind of get into that and a little bit away from like this farm life they've been having, although I do like it. Um, let's get the mail and then go make some food. We're going to serve um, blackened bass. Rose can go to the washroom. Um, I do, I, I like the idea of, you know, having the farm and I, I guess you can, can't really call it a farm, but we have our garden, we have our chickens, and I've been doing it that way for a while where we just sell um, our garden for money, but I like the idea of trying to change it up a little bit. I don't want each generation to live the same life and have the same lifestyle. I kind of want to change a little bit. So I'm thinking Rose could probably go and uh, live in San Mayashino. I'm not sure where. Well, I do know where. I have, I have something picked out for her, but I don't know who she's going to live with exactly or how she's going to end up moving there or when. Um, I guess that's the part of the story I haven't quite figured out yet, but... I am definitely excited for her to go there, and I'm not sure if her parents are going to like that very much. Um, by this point, I think Emilka was probably almost married by the time she was Rose's age now, so I think her parents would kind of be wondering about like when she's going to meet somebody to marry, although Emilka did get married like really young. Uh, okay, so he can go to the washroom. I'm trying to take care of their needs before they get too bad. Um, she's good, it seems like. There we go. I can't believe we have two teens already. Like, that was so fast. Ricky, there's a talent showcase going down at the lounge. Absolutely. Uh, well, the solar flare. I don't want to go there because it doesn't match the um, the theme. I really only want her to go somewhere where we've got, like, the 20s theme going on. Oh, you need to fix that. Okay, and now, Rose, we are going to travel... Um, I'm going to see if her friends will come. Sometimes they don't. This Ricky guy could probably come. And I don't think anybody else, maybe this chick. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not sure who else is from this era. I can't really even tell sometimes. That looks good. Everyone is coming with you. Well, they said that last time and then we ended up going and nobody was there. Um, Ricky does not fit into this group at all. <laughs> He's wearing his blue sweater. Uh, let's go to San Marcino and the Prohibition Bar. 
which is, um, I, I really like it here. I'm also wondering if we could have Rose move to San Maestro when she's still a teen, or if we should wait till she's a young adult. I, I don't really know exactly what to do. The problem is she's gonna have to make money to be able to afford her rent, and I just don't know what how she's gonna make money. Like, she makes tips by singing, but not enough to pay for rent, so that's gonna be kind of an issue. Um, she could probably maybe help her mom at the dress shop still, and then like take a, a certain commission maybe. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that, but I know I don't really want her to have a career, I don't think. Um, because it wouldn't have been too realistic. Okay, so we are here. Let's go downstairs. Go here together. I did this exact thing last time and then nobody ended up coming with us and it was really sad. Okay, um, here's all her friends. So this Ricky guy. Let's talk to Ricky. Um, ask what is day. Okay, there are bathrooms, so you don't have to stand there like that. Um, we will do tell joke about Sunset Valley. I honestly don't know if this is a sim that I downloaded or not. I can't even tell. Rose is going through a phase. Yeah, she is a teen still. And then we will do heartfelt compliment. Get to know. Knock knock joke. That should do. See that guy back there, he might be one of the townies I put in. I don't know. I think this Ricky guy is based on like his hat. I know that's not much to go off of, but the hat feels pretty um pretty accurate. Oh yeah, and it's New Year's Eve too, so we could be here till midnight. Hopefully the whole like crew will stay here. Sometimes I don't, and I can't get the camera right because it is a basement. Um, let's also do a deep conversation, tell a funny story. People are swimming, that's good. Um, Ricky is self-assured. And I kind of want to know everything about him. We'll just keep chatting. Um, just see how their relationship is doing. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, that's not too bad. Why does it always happen? I had like six things queued up and then they just kind of reset. That's weird, now she can't really even talk to him. Oh, he, what the hell? He just disappeared in through the fire, did he use flu powder? How did he do that? This is like some weird Harry Potter stuff going on here. He just disappeared through the fireplace. You know, I'm onto his, I'm onto him, he's a wizard. I'm, I'm totally onto him. But that sucks because <laughs> they were just talking. I'm gonna invite him over anyway. And we've got a captive audience here. So maybe she could go up here and sing while we wait for Harry Potter to come back. Ricky will be right over. Well, I should hope so. We were in the middle of a conversation. Okay, tr dress like that, that would be good. And then we will do uh, practice singing. Oh yeah, quick selfie, of course. Um, I think her singing skills only, yeah, she's not even le level five yet, but that's okay. Is anyone gonna pay her? Like, come on. I think she makes like $4 at a time, which is really not much. Is that Ricky right there? No, that's Eugene. There's Ricky. Oh, talking to some other girl. There's eight bucks. See, maybe for like a level 10 singer, we'll make really good money. I'm not really sure. I don't do this a lot. Somebody please pay us. Another $8. See, a lot of people are watching, but not that many people are paying. You know what, let's just go talk to Ricky because he's getting way too cozy with this other chick and I don't like it. Uh, let's go hug him. Just deep conversation. Ask him about Hogwarts. That's the real test. Tell a funny story. Um, rave about favorite singers. Where are you going? Why are you sitting there? The way they have conversations is so weird. And it's weird that their voices are like muffled right now. And maybe because it's a basement, I'm not really sure. I don't play in basements that often. Oh, they did hug, okay, interesting. Uh, express admiration. Oh, I kind of like him. I do want to get a picture of them together, but I... There's really like no tea right now. <laughs> There's nothing going on between them, so it's not that interesting. Um, also, are people doing a countdown right now? No, they're not. Okay, well, midnight is in like four minutes and yet nobody is doing anything about it. So I'm just gonna leave it. Let's do a pickup line and see if that goes anywhere. Oh, 
Are there fireworks outside? Nope, just fireworks inside, which makes a lot more sense. Oh, did he take that? Oh, he it, he liked it. Okay, let's also um, ask if single and then blow him a kiss. Also, I don't really have a solution for why she leaves her house and her parents aren't like alarmed. I really don't know what to say about that. Um, it, they, they, don't, they don't ask questions, I guess. Maybe they trust her. Excuse me, could you come back? I wasn't done. Um, he's too far away. He's right there. Oh, okay, well, I guess it's not happening. Oh, this sim just aged up, I think. Leighton Suzuki. Okay, well, he's clearly leaving, but we did plant a bit of a seed there with Ricky, so I think that went pretty well. Um, she's pretty tired now, so I think we can just go home. We didn't really do much for uh, New Year's Eve, but that's okay. Ricky doesn't really like it here. Like, he'll stay for a little bit, but then he wants to leave. Um, so she is going to go home. And I think we're at five days away from her becoming a young adult. So I just, I think that is a little too soon for her to move out on her own. Um, but maybe she could be sort of apartment hunting and thinking about moving there. But the issue is she has to have a way to make money. And I don't really know what to do. So if anyone has any suggestions on how she can make enough money that she can pay her rent, um, that would be good. I guess she could work in the entertainer career. I'm pretty sure you can do that. I'll have to read the challenge rules, but I think you can. Um, let's get you to go to bed because you're just standing in the rain right now. Looks like he did not fix that. Camille couldn't go to sleep. Um, Samuel can go to sleep. Oh, we need another toddler bed, I think. Uh, we don't have enough room here. I, I could put one of the kids upstairs with move this toy box. I don't really know where. Oh my god, this is kind of a disaster. Let's just put that right there for now. Um, once, um, who, who's the oldest kid? They're the, not the oldest, the oldest of the, the younger girls, uh, Alice. Once she becomes a child, I think I'm going to have her move upstairs with her sister. Um, I was going to have Samuel go up there, but it's kind of girly, so I think I'll just leave it. I don't want to redecorate, so you can go to sleep. You can go to sleep. Ida, oh, Ida's starving. Um, grab some food, please. The problem with leaving is that you come back and everyone is like dead. <laughs> dead or dying. Now uh, that he can go to sleep too. Okay, so she's already eating, so we're good there. It's like 1.30 in the morning. Like, this family needs to do better. And then you can go to sleep. I'll put this in the fridge. There we go. Um, I'm also not sure if I want Amilka and Peter to have any more kids because we're not really going to be in this household for much longer. So, I mean, I mean, they could keep having kids. I don't have to be here for it, obviously, but, um, I don't know. I think I might just kind of leave it. How old is Amilka? She's not even an adult yet. So I guess they probably would have more kids. They could always have one more. Oh, this one's up. Why are you up? Why are they both up? Go back to sleep. Four in the morning and they both just they just spring out of bed. I don't understand that. First day of spring, okay. He he's not gonna stay asleep. I already know it. Um just go take a bath, get ready for your day. Um she got home late, so she'll probably be asleep for a while. I'm definitely going to read, after this episode, I'm going to read about the Decades Challenge and see if women could work in the entertainer career. I'm pretty sure they can. Um, I haven't exactly been following the rules to a T anyway, um, because you're not supposed to use girls as the heir, or heiress, I guess, but I have been, because, well, I'm, I'm about to with Rose, but I don't know. I I like her story. I There's somewhere I want this to go, so I'm, I'm using her as the heiress. Okay, everyone seems to be doing okay. Let's get you up and go check on these eggs because I feel like we should have some by now, no? I think, actually, I think it's because we haven't been feeding them. We have to buy chicken feed in order to get eggs from them. So, does anyone have any chicken feed? No. Okay, oh, there's one. See, that is the one thing I don't really like about the chicken coop is I wish you could just click on it and feed them, even if it costs money, like 10 bucks or whatever. I would rather rather do that than have to go into the catalog and buy it and then put it in her inventory. I just, I don't, I don't love it. Um, let's hug a chicken and then check for eggs. 
I do like the chicken coop though. It's been fun playing with it. I probably won't use it too much after the decades challenge, um, but it is, it's a cute idea. Let's get her to go to the washroom and take a bath. And then Emilka, what are you doing? Mopping up a puddle. Okay. Uh, she can make some breakfast. Let's do pancakes, I think. And then Samuel. Um, we should probably get Samuel into, like, taking care of the garden a little bit more. Um, we could even expand this, maybe. Like, make it a bit larger. I'm not sure if this is our property line. Let me just see. Yeah, we're kind of right on the edge. This isn't the best place for a big garden. Um, there's really nowhere to expand it. Hmm. Okay, well... I'm probably just going to leave it like that, honestly. But like I said, we are going to be moving out of here pretty soon anyway and playing in a different household, so I'm not too worried about it. Is she making breakfast? Yes, she is. Okay. Um, our laundry is still wet. That's fine. And I like that they get little moodlets from the chicken coop as well. Hen hugger. Hug your hens daily for a happy life. That is so strange. Um, I saw on Twitter Pixelade posted something that said people that take care of chickens are chicken tenders. I like that. I like that a lot. So that means Rose is a chicken tender. Okay, I'm going to put this in the sink. Um, also, Emilka is a level 10 in cooking now, so that's going to be helpful. Um, let's get everybody to come and eat some pancakes. Grab a serving. Um, also, another issue, our kitchen isn't big enough for our entire family. Like... We have a family of six now, and we only have four places to sit here. So, I mean, we might have to make the house a little bit bigger. You can go use that. There we go. I just love this family. They're so cute. I'm sad that I have to leave them, but also excited for Rose's story. Oh my god, she's having a drink with breakfast. What is this? Why was she drinking that? Oh my god, that is so funny. I have no idea where she got that from. She's having a Cosmo with pancakes. Oh my god, it's just been one of those days, I guess. Why does she always act like... Well, she's an erratic sim, so she does act pretty crazy sometimes. I just love that Emilka is drinking a martini with her breakfast. I do need a picture of that. It's too good. Yeah, like I said, no idea where she got that drink from, but she's enjoying it anyway. I guess it's just already been one of those days. Sometimes you just need a good stiff drink with your breakfast. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to leave this part right here, and in the next part we will kind of explore where Rose is going to live a little bit more. Also let me know about what you think she should do for a career, and if you'd like to see a video about me and my CC finds, and stuff I've used before, stuff I'm going to use in the future for the Decades Challenge, um, yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. Thanks for watching.